Hey guys, Rascal here. It's been a while since I've done a review, so I decided to go on a little bit of a different topic since it's been a while. Now that uh, Superhero Month is over, I didn't really have that much to uh, review for that month specifically, other than the Ben 10 reboot and that uh, main event review that you saw. So I decided to go back to the reviews starting this month since that month was dedicated all, you know, superhero videos and movies and clips and stuff. So yeah, today. You read the title right. Um, there's this little bit of a conversation that went around um, at the time the Ben 10 reboot was in its third season. I think it's in its fourth season now. For some reason that show is still going on despite not really having much of a story. But hey, there was actually a rumor that came up at one point that uh, Kevin Eleven is going to get a spinoff series. Now, I'm not sure if this is true or not. I haven't seen any other news about it. It came up at one point when they had like an upcoming schedule of things that the studio was working on for new programs. And Kevin, Kevin Eleven was up there. But I have no idea if they're still going to do that or not. Now, regardless, the topic right now is like, should Kevin even get one? Now, now here's the thing. If this were the series from the original franchise from the classic Alien Force and Ultimate Alien, I think it could work in terms of being like a limited or mini series. I don't think it should be a full blown series like Ben 10 where it's get like 26 episodes in a season or something. But maybe like a short one, like maybe either showing more of Kevin's uh, backstory like it was revealed in the later series. Maybe he could get... Like, some parts you didn't know about. And what led up to the moments of him becoming the character he is from Alien Force. Or if they already had it uh, stated how he is now, maybe they could have where he goes on his own missions or stuff when Ben and Gwen aren't around. But for here, the reboot, it it's a little... It's a little hard to tell if this could even work because Kevin is completely different in the reboot. In fact, he has way more of a of a presence in here than he did in the original series. Now, in the classic, he came up a few times and he was more of an adversary. This is before he reforms. He was more the one who was jealous of Ben's power and, you know, he had the osmosis power and he was stuck in that, that horrific... Uh, mismatch of all Ben's aliens into one. Now, they don't do that in the reboot. I can tell you that. From what I've seen, they do not do that. He doesn't even have any powers anymore in the new one. Instead, they said he has a dream on how to build his own Omnitrix. And he builds it. And he already has the aliens in there. And he's got knockoff versions of Ben's aliens. And he could turn into evil knockoff versions of the Ben aliens, and he's still better than him. I don't know who thought that would be a good idea because Kevin's character isn't all that interesting. They're, I mean, they're trying to make him interesting because they're combining the original and the Alien Force version into one. And here, he's still the bully, he's still the rival, but he's not like a, he's not a criminal, and he's not the the imminent threat as he was before his, he, he reformed. And here, um, it was basically about one-upping Ben and show that he was stronger than him. Then, uh, the Forever Knight. No, I don't, I don't, and I mean that seriously, the Forever Knight. There are no, it's, it's singular. There are no Forever Knights in here. It's only one guy who's immortal. And I don't know why, but that's another thing. Um, he joined him temporarily, and a bunch of other the reboot villains to take down take down Ben, but it didn't go over so well because it turned out you know he wasn't really evil after all. He still had good in him, so I think they were trying to mix in the Alien Force version into here like he's like he starts from an early age. Maybe they didn't like what happened to him in the original where he was sent to the Null Void as a kid, so they decided to have him turn good way earlier than uh, the original, so he has a chance at redemption at an early age. It's, it's a little weird, because what we know already about Kevin, and then you get this reboot, and they're really trying hard to make you like this guy, 
or root for him for his redemption when he keeps doing stuff. And you can't tell what they're trying to do because sometimes they look like they're going to have him reform. Then he goes back to being a jerk. Then he fights Ben. Then he helps Ben. Then he fights Ben. Then he helps Ben. And then he fights Ben. And he just keeps going back and forth like that the whole time. <laughs> the only, and the other thing they kept is that he has a crush on Gwen still in, in this version. They kept that, but right now it doesn't seem to really go anywhere. And I guess that's one of the main things that's keeping him from turning bad altogether. Or or the or Forever Night will use that as a way to blackmail Kevin. Like, he'll put Gwen in danger if he doesn't do what he says. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's really weird how they have this character because you can't really tell if they really are serious about him becoming a good guy and a hero. Or are they trying to fake you out or is he still struggling to find out what he wants to do? Because he clearly has no family. He has no home. He's just going willy-nilly anywhere he wants. So... Yeah, it's it's really weird how they have this version of Kevin. So, should Kevin get a solo series for the reboot for the reboot version? Personally, no. We're not clear on who Kevin is in this version, and they rely too much on the original so you understand why they did this particular version of him. And this version of Kevin just just isn't just isn't interesting in the, in the slightest. They're trying to make him interesting. They want to have him be all sorts of things. And it's it's not working. The plus side, they still have Greg Sipes doing his voice. Which I think he was doing in the original. I know he did him later in Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. But it seems like they really want to have him get redemption and be good early. But then they can't decide. So they keep switching back and forth from him being a rival, a bully, then a hero, and an ally. So... Who knows what they're trying to do with Kevin. I kind of don't care. But but I thought you guys might be interested in knowing this. And seeing if you actually want to see if you do like the Ben 10 reboot. Do you Can you see Kevin reforming in this version? Not counting Ultimate Alien and when he's a teenager. But can you see him reforming in the reboot series even though him he's kind of... Uh, wishy-washy is the only way to say it in this particular version. Can you see him as a hero or an anti-hero gain his own spin-off series? Fighting evil, fighting heroes, whatever they're going to do for him? Or do you think he should just, uh, you know, not have that much focus on him? Because he's getting a lot of episodes. He's got like maybe 20 or more in this series already. Not even, uh, including his first appearance, he just keeps showing up. So, um... Yeah, if they do this series, I might watch maybe one episode, but that's it. I don't think I would stick around for this entire series because the reboot itself isn't really well written. And when they have original characters come back in here, they're completely different. Like, Vilgax is not nearly the threat as he was originally. Animo has his animal things and they do nothing else. Uh, Tetrax is now a villain instead of a... A good guy or a bad guy turned good. He's just a flat out villain and nothing more. The Forever Knights are now just one person who's immortal. You don't know anything about him and so forth. They just really change everybody. So, yeah. I don't really think I would watch a Kevin Eleven spinoff. And it's not connected to the original franchise that we've seen already. But you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this could work? Or should they just, like, not do it? They already got a live-action Ben 10 series coming. Why don't they do a Ben 10,000 series? I don't understand why they didn't just do that in the first place. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Later.